big fish here, guys, on a uh, inline spinner. Nice big fish. Woo! Nice. First fish for me for 2022. Look at that stud, guys. That's a nice big three pound rain ball. I'll show you the lure in a second here. We're in extremely shallow water. I'm gonna get this fish back in and I will show you that lure. Nothing fancy, a little custom spinner, green plastic body, silver blade, tipped with a quarter inch piece of Nightcrawler trolling at 1.5 miles an hour. Absolutely deadly, tough bite out here. Had to show them something different. The spinner got it done. on the spinner this is a brass spinner with a red body nice and easy now nice and easy oh nice fish that's a chunk Woo! nice yay somebody's sad they lost that fish Let's see if we can get that other line off of him. That's that's pushing for this line here. See this line? Yeah, you gotta. Oh. Got some kind of hook and line in him there. Okay. Now let's go ahead and pop that hook like that. Nothing complicated, guys. Nice plastic body spinner. Boom, right there, look at that fish. Beautiful, beautiful rainbow. Howdy anglers, welcome back to the channel. I'm Kel Kellogg and it is time to talk about trolling traditional wire form trout spinners just like that. That is the type of lure that you saw us catch all those trout on in the beginning of this video and I can tell you from experience, not enough anglers are pulling traditional trout style spinners like that. Sure, they'll use them in rivers, they'll use them in creeks, but very few guys go out to their local reservoir and rig up with a wire form spinner. Now they might pull a wedding ring style spinner that's formed on a piece of monofilament line, but uh, it's very infrequent when a guy goes out, a serious trout troller goes out and rigs up with a spinner just like that. And that's a big mistake because these lures put out a ton of flash, a ton of vibration, and that can be critical to drawing in trout in certain situations. Low light periods, that's a great example. Muddy water like I have here at Collins now, that's another time when you wanna bust out a spinner. And that's exactly why I was out here trolling them last week because they put out a bunch of flash, a bunch of vibration, and it was something that the fish could locate in this highly stained water. So, you know, there's a, a wide selection of spinners to choose from. They come in a bunch of different colors, a bunch of different sizes. They're made of a bunch of different metals. You can get chrome blades, painted blades, gold blades, copper blades, and the list goes on and on. You can get them with dressed hooks, undressed hooks, whatever you want. I think it's important to have a selection of spinners. I like to work across the color spectrum just like I would in choosing a spoon. I want some bait fish colors. I want some bright colors. I want some metallic colors, and I kind of want to mix and match those color combinations to the conditions at hand. I always have some black spinners. I always, you know, for low light periods, I always have some light colored spinners when I'm at a lake like Collins here, where the fish spend a lot of time feeding on bait fish, in this case, threadfin shad. So mix it up. I use quarter ounce spinners most often, but I have some smaller spinners, I have some larger spinners. Most of the spinners I have, they have a wire through the blade configuration, but I certainly have, have some blue fox spinners that utilize a clevis, just like that guy right there. Um, so I just keep a selection of these on hand. I don't use them every time I go trolling. I don't even use them every season when I go trolling, but when I'm up against conditions that call for me to put out maximum flash, 
maximum vibration, I reach for my spinners and I almost always hook some trout on them. Now you can think of them a little bit like a spoon. You know, you can bust out a six inch Dodger, you can run this spinner, you know, 30 inches behind the Dodger, drop it down on the downrigger and hook plenty of trout. But you can also troll the spinners naked. But if you're gonna do that, you wanna use a trolling rudder because it's a spinner. It spins, it will uh, twist your line up. And you know me, I'm always fighting against line twist. I'm looking around for boats and rocks and stuff here. Um, so just keep that in mind, they will twist your line. Even if you're using a trolling swivel, I don't even trust that with a spinner because it's rotating so fast that uh, I always employ that, that rudder if I'm trolling it naked. Now, you might be wondering, what speeds can you troll spinners at? And you know, again, super versatile. Um, I start using them at about one and a half miles an hour, but I'm not afraid to take them all the way up to three miles an hour if I wanna troll fast. The only thing that happens when you troll them faster is the blade spins faster. They put out a higher pitched type of vibration. And you know, some days that's exactly what the fish want. Now you can take a spinner just like that right out of the package, put it in the water and absolutely start catching fish on it. But this is what I like to do. Let me grab this right here. I've got a, a, a Panther Martin here. You probably have one of these in your tackle box. It's the iconic, you know, yellow body orange dot model. But look what I have on the back hook. I have about a half inch piece of worm and I don't have it gobbed up on there. I have it hooked very lightly. This gives them, at least in my opinion, in my experience, this gives the trout a target to aim at. It also gives it the taste, feel and smell of real meat. Now you can tip a spinner with a variety of different things. You can tip them with salmon eggs. You can tip them with pieces of gulp worm. You can tip them with this tail section of a plastic grub. But uh, hands down for me, my number one choice for tipping my spinners is a piece of night crawler just like that. Just remember, match the size of the spinner and the color of the spinner to the conditions that exist at your lake or reservoir and you're gonna be yelling fish on and you can thank me later because what do I always say about selecting lures? If everybody at a lake is running a cast master, that's one of my last choices. I wanna run something that the fish, you know, aren't seeing a great deal. That's why I run trolling flies so much. That's why oftentimes I'll reach for a spinner. There's a ton of people out here at Collins Lake that are pulling Rapalas, they're pulling cast masters, but not a lot of guys are pulling a Panther Martin spinner tipped with a piece of worm. Um, you can troll them deep off a downrigger. You can troll them on top and top line them. You can team them with your lead core rig. They will work at any depth and virtually any speed. That's it for now. Think spinners, guys, especially if the water's stained or the light level is low. I'm Kel Kellogg. I'll catch you next time right here on YouTube. Thanks, guys.